The following video has been rated PG-13 for, eh, it's pretty good, if you're 13. Let's do a little something different today, shall we? Welcome to Lucas Nursery. Lucas Nursery has been in the city of Oviedo, which is just a little bit outside of Orlando for, uh, you know, decades and decades and decades. It's probably the biggest nursery out here. Nurseries were huge uh, back up in the Midwest. Down here in Florida, they're, they're not quite the same thing, but this one is also not quite the same thing, but in an outrageous way. Join myself and Deshaun from Negro Orlando. And today we're gonna do Imagine. just a little boring. Now I could already hear you ask me, why in the world are we at a nursery today, filming a nursery? You know, flowers, pots, trees, shrubs. That's great, but why? Well, this, this is not your typical nursery. Let me show you what I'm talking about. We just walked in and you can already tell there's a lot of stuff here that you're not going to find at your typical nursery. Deshaun's walking over to the world's largest wind chime. I don't know if it's really the world's largest wind chime. I'm going to call it that. It is, however, a very large wind chime. Much like Knott's Berry Farm, they've got their own giant chicken. Let me give you an idea as the scope and scale of this place. There aren't rows here. There are streets. Fruit trees. Look at this. This is a cocktail tree that will have three varieties of fruit, including navel oranges, ruby red grapefruits, pumpkin tangerines, Manola Tangelos, Meyer Lemons, or Persian Limes. Can you leave it in the pot? Why, yes. Yes, you can. It's an awfully big gnome. Just, you know, staring out over a Loma Road. Nothing going on. Right here's where it starts getting a little weird. Here at Kay's Tropical Treasures, indoor, patio, and shade plants. Yeah, it looks like an unassuming greenhouse, but it's all about the hidden little touches. It's a hidden bar. You gotta be careful where you step, of course. Shh, it's a dinosaur. Oh, don't worry, I think this one's a plant eater. Another hidden bar. And if you've ever been curious as to where rubber comes from, not so hidden bar. Well, that's gonna be the craziest thing you've seen here, right? Wrong. Looks like Blue here is guarding the Venus flytraps, the little pots of horrors. And look, he's got help. There's there's a few more dinosaurs in here than your typical greenhouse. Hidden bar. get your heart set on Raphael here. He's not for sale. Nor is the hidden Komodo dragon. Well, well, well. Look who it is. It's Sass the Squatch. I'm not sure I got that right. There be dragons here. Where are my dragons? I give you bamboo. Bamboo can grow up to be about six stories tall. Some people say seven. But that's a whole nother story. And I'm like, good. I'm gonna do my wait, 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 wait. That rabbit, he'll be killed! In case you're ever curious as to where cinnamon comes from, it comes from the bark of this plant. Yes, they've got snakes and alligators. They've got zombies. They've got dinosaurs. But they've also got this. They've got a bull. And not just any bull. 
He's a very bad bull. Bite your friggin' head off. Look at the size of that friggin' goldfish. He's lining up the perfect shot. What a courageous shot. And right here under the oaks, they're doing some daily classes. I hear that you're a very bad bull. Pierce Bronson is Swamp Cow. Sean has just named these two Carne and Asada. Uh, first name Carne, last name Asada. Oh, I thought one was Carne and one was Asada. No, no, no. It's this guy right here. Good, because, you know, I mean, that would be disturbing. All right, guys? Donkeys in the distance. A tale of equestrian love. You might think this nursery is normal, but me, I think it's a little nuts. <laughs> Whoa! All right, all of you botanists out there, down in the comments section, the heck are these things? Oh, cool, it's free. Heading into the gift store in the butterfly encounter. Well, they've got a lot of gift store type items, including an iPad. Welcome to the butterfly encounter. And so for the most part, it is a no touching by a man. You can't touch any of the birds, butterflies, or any of the caterpillars and stay on the guided path. However, there is a special, special room. And in that special room, that is where you can actually hold the Kim helping us out with the overview today. Thank you, Kim. Absolutely. Welcome to Butterfly Park. Now, she explained to us before we came in that this is sort of the low season for butterflies. There's not quite as many out here as there normally are. There's still going to be butterflies, but there's also going to be a lot of uh, a lot of flightless birds in here. Apparently, they just had a, a litter. I don't know if that's what you call them, but I'm going to call them that. A litter of baby birds. Very tropical in here. Very hot. Very humid. Get back here. Sean's going to the butterfly encounter room where you can actually put a little bit of nectar on whatever body part you want. Don't take that too literally, and a butterfly will come land on it. Now Sean's going to have this butterfly land on his finger. I'm not going to do it because we all know that butterflies cause cholera. And honestly, these little kiwi-looking birds are more of my speed anyways. Look at them go. There's definitely a few more of them in here. Now, I understand that Sean is trying to steal a butterfly. Does it hurt? No, not yet. Are you scared? <laughs> it should be. Hey, buddy. There's the cup of bug juice. I actually did the butterfly room about a year ago with my family. I had a butterfly land on my finger, and honestly, I couldn't get it off. I was stuck in there for like 20 minutes because you don't want to shake it too hard and kill it. You don't want to wipe it off on something. So I got stuck in there for like 20 minutes and got really hot. So I, I'll let Sean do the demonstration for today. Looks like our kiwi friends are traveling. Found some more kiwis. Looks like that one's taking a dirt bath here at the cacao tree. Mmm, chocolate. Ugh. Caterpillar flight school. I'm not sure if that actually is a thing or just a cute sign they found. I do see a couple of butterflies. I'm not seeing any caterpillars yet. Is that a white pigeon? What in the world? How did you get in here? Over here is the little aviary. This is where they put all the birds that aren't running around. Looks like there's a lot of flighty type birds. 
and even a few new hatchlings. You looking at us? You looking at us? You freaking looking at me? You freaking looking at me? You freaking looking at me? Getting a little warm, so it's time to depart and be attacked by this bird. Even this young lady's getting in on the action. And then heading out. There's a lot of dogs here, too. I have no idea what I would do with it, but I kind of feel like I need that bench. Now for the troll who keeps commenting on my videos saying that I need to go find some pot. Looking to find Lucas Nursery for yourself. You're going to go north of Orlando. You're going to go a little northeast towards Oviedo. It's, it's out off of Aloma Road. It's nice and easy to find. It's huge, so you can't miss it. Look for the zombies and the dinosaurs and the giant chicken. And, uh, you know, we'll see you next time. As we do, you know, just a little. Splorin'. Not so well hidden bars.